Hello, and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I will be demonstrating how to configure the SysMac NJ and an SCU card for Hostlink using SysMac Studio. I have added a serial control unit card to my SysMac NJ, and that will be communicating over RS-232 to an NB-HMI using Hostlink. I currently have a SysMac Studio project open and the controller matches the one that I will be connecting to. I have already added a serial control unit card to my controller. All I need to do is go online and compare with the actual configuration and then change the communication parameters. My communications is set for USB. My cable is attached and I will go online. You will notice in the lower right hand corner my controller status. I'm online, no errors, I'm in run mode and the IP address of my controller. I will now right my mouse click on the CPU and compare and merge with actual unit configuration. You will notice in the lower portion I have the SCU card is now added and up above this is the my current configuration in SysMac Studio. I will click on Apply Actual Unit Configuration and click OK. This has now added the SCU card to my configuration in SysMac Studio. I will now go offline and set up my communication parameters. I will now set up the communication settings on my SCU card. I'll highlight the card. This particular card, the SCU22, has two RS-232 ports. I'll double click on the Edit Special Unit Settings. And I'm going to look at port 1. There's two ports on this unit and I'm going to select port 1 by going up here selecting port 1 settings and I'm going to use user settings I'll select host link and my baud rate I want to select 115 K baud I will now click OK host link communication uses fixed memory addresses for instance, data memories, holding relays, work bits, etc. And I will need to set up these areas in my data global variables. I will right mouse click and add data 0. Data type, I want it to be a double integer. And under AT specification, I'll use percentage sign and then D0. Now data memory 0 is memory retentive, so I need to select retain. I can create these variables in Excel and then paste them. So I've done that. I'm going to paste in a number of different variables of a number of different data types. So data 0 through 9 are using data memories. Here I have CIO, so core IO 100 through 105. Holding relay, here's a bit holding relay and a work bit as well. I'll now rebuild my controller and then send the configuration down to my SysMac NJ. I'll go online. and I will synchronize. I will transfer to the controller. Click yes and close this window. You will notice in the lower right hand corner my controller status. I'm online, no errors, I'm in run mode and the IP address of my controller. I will now add a watch window. 
and I'll use the keyboard shortcut Alt 4 to bring that up. And let's look at data 0. Let's look at data 5. And let's look at data 9. I will put in three different values into these three data memories. In data memory 0, I'll put the number 1, 2, 3, 4. In data memory 5, I'll put the number 5, 6, 7, 8. And in data memory 9, I'll put 9, 8, 7, 6. I have created a project in NB Designer, and let's look at the communication parameters I have for my COM1. RS-232, 115K, 7, even 2. And I will be communicating to an Omron PLC. And I have three different words that I'll be looking at. First one is data memory 0, and data memory 5, and data memory 9. I am now online with both my SysMac NJ and my NB HMI. And I can come over and I can now change the value in data memory 5. I'll change it to 5522. Select Enter. And you'll notice down here in the SysMac NJ my online value has now changed. And that's all there is to it, to use a serial communication with host link on a SysMac NJ. Thank you, and stay tuned for more Omron Quick Tip videos.